Today's second fave artist is Justin Nuziko. Um, he's a musical genius. Um, I'd play more of his songs on my channel, but they're really hard to cover. Um, so it takes me a long time to learn them. Um, but I love his music. Um, it's really hard to pick a favorite song. So I, if I had to pick one to do for this video, I'd probably pick just the first song I ever learned by him, which is After Tonight. At just 17, Justin Nozuka broke onto the music scene with popular singles such as Criminal, Heartless, and After Tonight. But the artist quickly faded and lost popularity. So what happened? Justin Nasuka was born one of seven children to a Canadian mother named Holly Cedric and a Japanese father named Hiromitsu Nasuka in New York City, 1988. When he was eight years old, his parents divorced and he relocated from New York City to Toronto with his mother and six siblings where he began to explore music. Between the ages of 12 to 15, Justin began writing his own songs while attending St. Andrews College in Ontario and performed at shows in Toronto before attracting the attention of British indie label Outcast Records who signed him early on in his career. He later learned to play guitar from classmates and from the influences of Lauryn Hill and Marvin Gaye. With the help from a fellow Canadian artist, whom he met at a songwriting workshop, Justin was introduced to Universal Records talent scout Alan Reed. He recorded three tracks through Universal with Bill Bell as a producer, leading Universal to request that Justin sign with their label. However, he decided to record an album on his own, with his own freedom. After graduating from the School of Arts in 2007, he released his debut album titled Holly, which he named after his mother who helped and supported his musical career. In February 2008, Justin was nominated for a Juno Award in the category of New Artist of the Year, following the commercial and critical success of his debut album. Since releasing his first studio album, Justin opened shows for Stevie Wonder, Mary J. Blige, John Mayer, and Jason Raz, and appeared on Letterman, Jimmy Kimmel Live, The Late Show, and Good Morning America, and earned his second Juno Award nomination competing against Neil Young for Adult Alternative Album of the Year Honors. In the summer of 2009, Justin began working on his second studio album while touring and playing live shows in Europe. The result was his second album titled You, I, Wind, Land and Sea. The album was released in the US on April 13, 2010 and debuted at number 118 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart. The album received positive reviews similar to his first album. After spending 2010 touring, Justin took a break to replenish his creative juices and consider his future. He then started to reset his musical compass and self-produce his projects, releasing his third studio album titled Ulysses in 2014. He stated, My big thing is that nobody is involved in my artistic creations and not putting their hands and their ideas into that. Because there is business people and there are art people, you know? In addition, I want to keep that very separate. I want to be a touring act. I want to play all the time. And I want to be part of a singer-songwriter crew and be known as a singer-songwriter more than just a pop act. He has since released music and hints towards a larger project which will materialize throughout 2021. In a recent interview, he stated, I am really charged up. I feel really motivated to get out on the road and play. As far as his personal life goes, Justin has managed to keep a very, very low profile and not much could be found 
there are no records of who he has dated or if he is currently dating but on that note thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe comment below and also share this video until next time what good Money and that's a night, you don't have to look up at the stars. I know if the love is so right, you don't have to look up at the stars. No, 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 I know. Money and that's a night.